Lakers trail by five. Marshall dishes to Wade. Now here's Randall. He's tightly guarded. That's good. He's a grinder. Love what he does under the offensive boards. Really bringing energy and life to his team. Toronto calls timeout. Thinking again about the Lakers, the East did get payback against them last year. Only 12 wins, Steve, for L.A. That was tied with Utah, Kevin, for the fewest wins against the East last year for a Western Conference club. So, you know, how you do against the East is usually a pretty good barometer of where you'll end up in the Western standings. Bill Zapp sets the pick for Lowry. He got an advantage there off the pick and took it right in. And the Raptors lead by five. Marshall passes to Noel. Wade sets the pick for Noel. Kobe attacking. Can't connect from short range. And they force the miss with that good defensive rotation. They're playing well together as a unit. Lowry inside the line. Again, the miss by Lowry. And little to no chance of that shot going in. Yeah, that was a tough one right there. Randall with a screen for Marshall. Shot from the low block. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Millsaps got three rebounds so far in the game. The drive by Lowry. Outside to Rosen. Now the pass to Ross. Raptors moving the ball around. Here's Millsap. Randall grabs the board. Randall's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And it's Wade in the corner. And the shot no good. A bit short. Raptors leading by five. Outside Lowry. Millsap a screen. From deep. Again, Millsap missing. Some of the shots he's taken have been real head scratches. I mean, come on. He's out there playing like it's a game of horse at the park. A drive by Wade. Los Angeles with another miss. Now Lowry. And there's the feet to Ross. Ball's knocked loose. Kobe with the steal. Finishes the break with a slam. Textbook example there of how to use defense to create offense. Yeah, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. Yeah, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. Count the bucket. Nothing too fancy, just simple execution. That's getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. I agree, Clark. They need stops, and they can't afford any wasted possessions. Those inside shots are really high percentage looks. Now here's Bryant. Three, Marshall. That's in, coming off an assist from Bryant. Raptors with the lead. Now here is Lowry. Ross in the corner. Outside DeRozan. Whoops, there's the 24 second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. You know, sometimes the intensity of the game can lead to brain neutral plays like that, guys. Los Angeles is gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. And Marshall kicks to Wade. On the wing, Bryant. The shot goes down and he gets this game back to even. There's 138 left in the fourth quarter. And here's
Here's Lowe. Goes and dishes the mill set. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Checking out the game Paul Millsap is having. He has nine points and two steals as well. Let's just take a, a moment to appreciate the all-around effort that he's put in here today. The numbers tell the story, Steve. He is filling up just about every column of that box sheet. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. They'll be disappointed not to have converted all of them, but he did get the big one to give them the lead. The Lakers shoot for the game at 42%. Marshall passes to Noel. He dishes it to Bryant. To take the lead. And again, it's the Lakers. And at Clark, we've seen some great competition in this one. I agree with you, Kevin. I mean, looking at the lead changes really kind of tells the story of this game. Yeah, what's that? Seven lead changes already here. So uh, it's a great matchup, guys. Two competitive teams going at it. Here's DeRozan following the basket by Kobe Bryant. Well, they did have a foul to give, but they couldn't get it done before the shot attempt. Yeah, you really want to try to foul in that situation before he gets into the shooting motion. It just didn't work out that time. He sinks the clutch free throw. And so he's good on both free throws, and that gives them the lead. He's just got such a smooth stroke, and it never changes, even in this kind of high-pressure situation. Game could be on the line right here. It's basically now or never for them. Oh, tough position. And Marshall kicks to Kobe. Wade dishes to Kobe. Misses from short range. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. Outside Lowry. Into Millsap. Deflected. It's stolen by Randall. Lakers call time here. They're down by one. There's 10 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, your thoughts? Well, and you've got the luxury here of running a play, so you want to do something that you're very comfortable with. Absolutely, Steve. I mean, no need to panic whatsoever. I mean, they're in a very good spot right here. Angeles making a switch here. There's 10 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Wade drives in. Yes! And the foul. It's on Eunice Valanciunas. You know, the height difference there is huge, but he canceled it out with great body control in the air. Exactly, Steve. He got to the hoop and wouldn't allow himself to be manhandled by the big boy. Those free throws put them in an excellent position to win this game. Now it's in the hands of their defense. Toronto calls timeout. They're losing by two. One second left in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? With under two seconds remaining, you've got to hurry it up. Get the ball up quickly and take one dribble and get it to the rim.
force overtime. And so it's the Lakers who come out on top here. Clark, it was anybody's game right to the very end. Yeah, it was. The coach is happy with the outcome. This team kept their emotions in check and got it done. Thank you for joining us for this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark, Stephen Doris, and the rest of the crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Last but not least, here is your Jordan player of the game, Dwayne Wade.